Hello class! Welcome to today's lesson. Today, we are going to learn about figurative language. By the end of this class, students should be able to explain the figurative language in a text. The first figurative language is simile. So simile is a metaphor that uses the terms like like, as, or then to compare two different objects. So the comparison will then form connections and also inferences about the two objects. For example, therefore like cats and dogs. So the term like here is already indicating that the sentence is a simile. The word action for here is being described or being compared to cats and dogs because cats and dogs are always fighting. The second example is my mother is as busy as a bee. So the word as here has already indicated that this sentence is a simile. So busy is being compared to a bee because a bee is always working to produce nectar. Therefore, this comparison happens. The second figurative language that we will learn today is personification. Personification is the process of adding human traits to non-human objects. This gives items a personality and makes them more relatable. For example, the computer argued with me and refused to work. The second example is, my heart jumped when my daughter entered the room in her wedding dress. So, as we can see, the computer and our heart, it is non-human, but they add human traits in the example in which uh, both of the examples shows that it is a personification. Okay, now we are going to look for personification and simile in a different context. Now let's look at this example from the OSD of the movie Frozen. It's stated here that there is a river full of memory, which means that the river is able to remember. Hmm, remember is a human trait, and a river is full of water. So this means that the river is given a human trait. So uh, this type of figurative language used in the sentence is personification. Next is the song by Ellie Goulding, How Long Will I Love You? So the highlighted sentence here refers to the stars as it says, as long as the stars are above you. So the stars is always above us, either day or night. So this sentence means that the person will love the other person forever. This, be this sentence also uses the word as, therefore the figurative language for this sentence is simile. Hello students, do you think you mastered the topic? Do you want to taste your understanding on the topic? Then, we're good to go. It's play time. What is life without fun? Therefore, we've prepared a game for you on the quizzes. Scan the QR code on the screen to play the games with your friends or by yourself. This way, you can taste your understanding on the topic of figurative language and have fun. We wish you the best of luck. Try it! Then here is your help. Open your QR scanner app on your phone. Then scan the QR code on the screen given. Then you open the quizzes and click on the play button. You're good to go. Wishing you the best of luck and have fun!